All right, everybody, time for my abdominal workout. Uh, first of all, of course, starting off with the preliminary five other exercises from convict conditioning, starting on bridges. As you can see, still quite tense, still quite stiff, working on loosening up the upper back. Followed by my uh, single leg squats. Uh, feeling a little bit uh, shaky today. Went skiing the other day, so uh, definitely a little bit on the weaker side there. Pull-ups, why not? Uh, working on the pull-ups, trying to get a little bit more muscle engagement right behind the shoulder where the shoulder blade uh, meets the uh, shoulder joint. Handstands, can't forget the handstands. You know, it's amazing how much balance and comfort you get with the handstands when you practice them a little bit every single day. Progressive push-ups, starting off uh, playing around with a little bit more of the archer style instead of the overlap push-up, having the assisted arm outrigged to the side, just a little bit more outrig, more difficulty, trying to keep the elbow in tight as possible on the working arm. All right, so now down to business. Leg raises are the order of the day. The key to getting your abs to really work hard with leg raises or anything else is your back uh, with all exercises. The more you tense up your back, the better these are. That's gonna help with your swinging, that's gonna help with your muscle recruitment and activation, that's gonna help with tensing up your anterior chain as well. So whenever I grab on them with a fairly narrow grip and I'm focusing on tensing up my pulling chain as much as possible, getting about eight to 10 going to the opposite bar. Supplemental shotgun exercise of the day here is simple uh, neck bridges. Again, I'm pulling into these uh, as with all other bridges. Bridges are more of a pulling exercise than a pushing exercise, so I'm not driving my forehead forward into the mat, just holding for roughly about 10 breaths, 10 seconds or so. I'm not doing it for like two minutes or anything like that with uh, this, uh, with the supine style pulling with the hamstrings. All right, set number two in the leg raises. Same uh, thing as before, keeping things tight to the center line. I'm pulling my lats in tight, pulling my hips in tight, also pulling my abs in tight. I'm trying to contract my abs towards the center line of my body, so it's kind of like I'm trying to suck inwards, not in towards my spine, but inwards towards my center line. I'm not a big fan of that whole idea of like sucking your gut, sucking your belly. I find if you try and draw things in towards your center line, that's gonna be a more effective approach. Then uh, again, back to the neck, uh, trying to keep uh, fairly still, my knees are together on this. Again, the more you draw things in towards the center line, the less of a stable base you have, and remember, stability builds, uh, or stability um, requires strength. So the less stability you have from your body, or from a stance, or from a machine, the more tension you need to engage from your muscles. Um, little, little pet peeve, a lot of people will tell me things like, oh, that's not a strength exercise, that's a balance exercise, or that's a stability exercise. The two are one and the same. If it requires stability, it requires strength, and vice versa. And just give you a different view here. Again, trying to go for the opposite bar there, having as little range of motion in my shoulders as possible. I'm trying to make this happen from my lumbar region, from my pelvis and my hips. I'm not trying to get to the point where I'm driving upwards a lot with my shoulders uh, and making the abs do a lot of the work. And then finally, as a finisher, it's a sit and hold for about 35 to 40 seconds uh, for time. Again, keeping the back stable and, uh, is key. Let me know your questions below. Be fit, live free.